Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute Christmas ornaments or they can be a mini gift box. It's entirely up to you depending on the size that you use. This is an origami fold. It's been done for years. It's a really, really old fold and I'm sure there's a, there is a natural name for this style and I think it, it's quite similar to a European ornament as well. So if anybody out there knows please let me know. I actually saw this come up on one of those five minute crafts videos on Facebook so it kind of reminded me of the ones I'd seen before and I thought yeah let's have a go. So I have a 6x6, six six, a 8x8 eight eight, and a 12x12. Twelve twelve. So the 6x6 six six, that's just one piece of 6x6 six six paper. This is perfect to hold one like Ferrero Rocher or you couldn't get a Tonix tea cake in this one. I think that will go in the 8x8. Eight eight. <laughs> you can pop a nice little piece of jewellery in there. You could probably roll up some money. So it's really cute and I've got the little kind of hanging, hanging, hanging piece there to hang off the tree. And then these are using one sheet of 8x8. Eight eight. Now obviously origami paper is what you would use but this is using a thicker paper and this is coated this has got all the foiling on it and I'll tell you the weight in a moment because it it worked really well with this as well but that's one sheet of eight by eight this is probably my favorite size for hanging on the tree and I'll open one up for you well actually you'll see it when we fold it in a moment they're just really really nice and they're so quick and easy this took me no time to do at all it's just done so fast so I'm going to make one more of the eight by eight today because I need five of these because I've got them for something else that I'm doing and then this is using the 12 by 12 now this one I've not added the little kind of hook because I'm actually going to keep that as a gift and that's going to go under the tree I think it's a really nice size and you can certainly fit some nice gifts some makeup small toiletries things like that would go in here bottle of perfume that would fit in here because you can see where it dips down inside there so you've actually got that height and I've taken away some of the paper that was inside just to give you more room as well. So yeah, this is what we're gonna make today. Okay, I'll just quickly show you what I've used here. So for the topper here, this Merry Christmas one, it's the Glittered Sentiments by Simply Creative. They're the silver, and then I've got the gold. I've used those up now. I think I do have another pack though. And um, these are really handy. I've used them on quite a few projects this year. The These ones here, I brought, I brought them last year and I'm down to the last three now so I've got one for the next one that we're going to do and they're just called the Christmas Chunky Stickers but again if you look on eBay or Amazon places like that there might be people still selling them and I will try and have a look again. This little 6x6 one here is using this is the Here Comes Santa and it's by Photoplay and I, the little topper was from the sheets in there as well. Here so I just cut one of those out really sweet. This one I use Twilight Wishes so you can make it in 6x6 but I use the 12x12 sheet to get that lovely large one and then the one that I'm using for the tutorial and that I've used for all of those 8x8 ones are the White Christmas. It's a beautiful, if you love white and gold and silver then this is going to be one for you and it's got hints of grey through there as well. So this is what we're using. So I've already taken out this star one because I haven't used this one yet. So all you need is a sheet of any square size equal sided paper. So I've used the, all the standard paper pad sizes 6x6, 8x8 and 12x12 but you can do any sizes in between that as long as they're equal sides and I've just got my topper there as well. So the weight of this here, this is 200 GSM and I found that you still get a really nice result. You can see there, it looks lovely. But obviously if you've got origami paper or if you're someone that struggles with folds then I'd go for a lighter weight paper and it still looks lovely because these ones, these ones here, this is more of a paper, this is 150 GSM and that's much much easier. Okay so just have a little look at your paper pads and then you can decide. So all you want to do is some really simple folding. So you're going to first of all fold it in half. I guess the key with this and with any origami fold is that you do get all of your lines and everything you know perfectly lined up. So one fold completely in half then rotate and in half again. Okay, so now you should have four equal squares. Then you're going to now pop it on the diagonal and you're going to fold in half that way. Just make sure that your points all line up. And again, I like to just burnish it, especially using a cardstock. And then rotate it and fold across the other side. Okay, so now you should have four segments on this half and four segments on that half okay 
Next what you want to do is you're going to work on every corner. So with this corner first, you want to bring in this corner and line up this straight edge with the fold through the middle there. Okay, so I'm just going to bring it across and just fold that up just so you can make sure that you keep everything all lined up, like so. Again, just give it a burnish. Okay, so I'll show you again, we worked on this corner, but we brought this corner in and that opposite corner in. Open it out. And then what I would say is to make sure that you don't, you know, because sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to see the folds, is put a little cross, just in pencil, at the one that you've done. So this one here, we've folded both pieces in on that corner, so that one is finished. Now I'm going to rotate and I'm going to bring this corner over to the centre here. Again, just like to bring the fold up just so I can see just line all that up and then bring that one across. Now this corner's got those folds on it so I'm going to put another little cross. Rotate, now you're working on this corner, bring the next one over. Again, just bring that one across. Like so. so now I've done that one. And then this other corner just bring down the two opposites again. So you're just working with angles, just want to make sure your points are all neat. Okay, and that's it. That is all that you need to do. So now along every straight side, you'll see that you have this kind of shape. You'll have that fold. And that's what we want to focus on. So that one, come to the next straight side and push it in so you've got that and you'll see the sides start to come in. Next straight piece, it's that centre line there, that's what you want to kind of work on, bring that up and then this last one, bring that up. Okay and you can see now when we bring it all together you have your shape and you want to make sure that the four sides here, the centre line is in so it creates is folded inwards so it creates a valley okay so the folds there that form that cross should be a valley fold the rest then will become mountains okay you can see that really cool shape that you get then what I'm going to do is I wanted to cut away this bulk because it does you know mean otherwise you can't fit something so big in it's up to you how much you cut away but I wouldn't say don't you want to make sure you keep half an inch from that score line Okay, this fold here, you want to come in about half an inch, so I'm just going to follow it to that fold there, and again, I'm just eyeballing it, I wouldn't, you know, don't think you need to get your ruler out and stuff, but you can you see now, just by taking that bulk off when we bring it in, you've just created all that room, but you need about half an inch so that when it closes up, that will go down you still want that cardstock to be able to fold in. If you cut too close to this outer piece, you're going to see what's inside. So again, if I just open that up, I'm just going to do the same on the other four sides. Okay, if I just lie it down flat, you can see the shape that we've got. Now, bring it all up. And that's it, they are really, really quick. So now I'm just going to punch some holes to tie it up so I'm just using the smaller punch and actually I mean where I put my cross is literally where I want to add my hole punch that fold that center fold you can see this one here it's on there that you want to punch you want to come down about half an inch again you can see there so just make sure that you do it along this center fold there that goes right up to the point Again, I'll come around to that one. It is, it's pretty much bang on where I've done my little crosses. That's another one. I've come down about, again, about half an inch. And then that one. And now it's just to use your ribbon. So this is a little bit, it was in a knot, but I think I can get away with it. So it's up to you again. I'm going to go in first. And then I'm going to go out from the next one. So all of that ribbon, once you bring up the sides, is concealed inside there. 
Okay. And then I'm going to go the next one. You want to make sure that that piece is popping out. Then the next one I'm going to go in from the front. Like so. Again, just want to make sure you get a nice closure there. And then I'm going to go in from the inside on the last one. Like so. So you should now end up with two pieces that are on the outside. And then you just tie it off in a bow. Tidy off my ends there. And then I've just got some of this. This is the Christmas twine, again, Simply Creative. I'm just using the gold there. And just cut some off. And then all I've done is just thread it through the back. Grab my tweezers here. Just thread it through the back bit of ribbon. Like so. And then I can just tie off the top and that, and there it is. And then I've got my little piece here. I've taken off the foam just because I wanted to put it, um, put some hot glue on it. And then I'm going to pop it onto this one here, just on that middle score line. And there you have it. I think a beautiful tree decoration. That is a really nice treat holder as well. I think they look stunning. Okay, so there's all of them again. So just to give you another idea, there's your, your 12 by 12, which I think makes a great gift box. That's your eight by eight. And then there's your six by six. Again, if I put the six by six against the 12 by 12, it is so cute. These two definitely are great sizes for the Christmas tree. But that one, I mean, if you've got a huge Christmas tree, then yes, have that hanging near the bottom. I think it's gonna look beautiful, but um, I'm gonna keep that as a gift box. And uh, yeah, look forward to filling it. So there you have it, my quick and easy origami tree decoration. So I hope it's inspired you. I hope you give them a go. And I look forward to seeing your variations of them. So thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's tutorial and consider subscribe subscribing <laughs> so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.